What if we travel space and experience the vastness of the universe? How about we travel around our very own planet? Join me in our journey to the Earth's extremes to unlock the secrets of the universe. Hello, grade 11 science enthusiasts! It's me, teacher Athena Camilla, your adventure partner and podcast teacher in Earth Science. I am at a higher energy level today because you are here with me spending time to learn and have fun. Welcome and join me as we blast off the rocket ship of new learnings. Let's know and let's explore Earth Science Quarter 1 Module 2 entitled The Subsystems of the Earth. In here, we will talk a great deal about our very own planet Earth. It is the only planet in our solar system capable of providing life. Why do you think so? If you think it is because it has liquid water, it has atmosphere, and it has the capacity to maintain its heat, you are correct. That is why Earth is called the lucky planet. To activate your prior knowledge of our lesson for today, please answer the pretest found on page 1 of your module. Congratulations to those who got them correctly. Don't worry if you got a low score, this just means that there are more things that you can learn as you listen in our discussion. Are you ready? Let's begin! Earth is kinda like a puzzle. It is made up of four very different parts that all work together to make Earth a lovely place that we know it to be. We call these parts as spheres, and between them, they contain all the stuff on our planet. Everything from the fish in the ocean to the air we breathe. Earth has four spheres. Can you name them? We have the geosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. So what exactly are these spheres, and what's in them? Let's find out. The geosphere includes all the rocks and minerals here on Earth. It is like the skeleton of our planet. All of the other spheres are built on top of it, from the biggest boulders of rock to the tiniest grains of sand and all of the landforms. Can you name some of the landforms? We have mountains, volcanoes, valleys, plateaus, canyons, beaches, and others. They are all part of our geosphere. Next is the biosphere. Probably you've heard of the word biology, meaning the study of life. Bio means life. The biosphere is the set of all life forms on Earth. It covers all ecosystems from mangroves to coral reefs and from the plankton-rich ocean surface to the deep sea. All living stops in this planet is included in the biosphere, like plants, animals, and humans. Are we included in the biosphere? Yes, you were right. We are part of the biosphere. All right, we're not done yet. We still need to complete the Earth spheres. In addition to the geosphere and biosphere which we've talked about, there are still two more spheres that we need to complete our planetary puzzle. We have the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. Let's dive into the hydrosphere. Hydro comes from the Greek word for water. All of the water on Earth is in the hydrosphere. Can you name all the water forms in our planet? We have the oceans, the seas, Rivers, lakes, and even the ice trapped in glaciers and icebergs are parts of the hydrosphere. About 70% of the Earth is covered with liquid water, and much of it is in the form of ocean water. Only 3% of Earth's water is fresh. Two-thirds are in the form of ice, and the remaining one-third is present in streams, lakes, and groundwater. Our last but certainly not the least sphere is the atmosphere. This sphere contains all of the gases on our planet, which is fitting since the word atmos comes from the Greek word for air. Although we can't really see the atmosphere or grab onto it, it reaches everywhere and covers the entire planet like a giant snug blanket. Do you know what is the most abundant gas in our atmosphere? 
it's not oxygen it's nitrogen the present atmosphere is composed of 78 percent nitrogen just 21 percent oxygen and 0.9 percent argon and some of the trace amount of other gases Although the four subsystems have their individual identities, there are important interactions between them. Our planet could not be the amazing planet that we know it to be without these four spheres. Are you now familiar with the four spheres? This time, please answer apply what you have learned in page 7. A system is an organized group of related objects or components that work independently and interact to create a whole. The sizes of systems vary. However, all systems have boundaries. Most systems, like the Earth system, have matter and energy that flow freely through the system. There are two types of systems, open and closed system. An open system includes the transfer and exchange of both matter and energy with the system's surroundings. A closed system, on the other hand, is a system where only energy is transferred or exchanged with its surroundings. Matter is not part of this exchange. Our Earth system is considered a closed system, since there is only an exchange of heat or energy and no exchange of matter. So how is it? If you think there is a need to go over the lesson again, yes, you can always play this podcast before you return your module to your teacher. Did you enjoy our discussion today? Now you see how Earth subsystems interact to make our planet the best planet in the whole solar system. Now, my dear learners, I hope you've learned a lot while listening to this podcast. To further enhance your knowledge about Earth's subsystems, please continue answering the remaining task. Important reminders also, now that we are experiencing a global health emergency brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, it is just right to take good care of our health and renew our commitment in taking good care of our planet, since it is the only planet that we have. Thank you for listening until the next podcast lesson. Goodbye!